Hello, and in this video I'm just going to talk to you about text editors, and in particular Sublime Text. So, I know you guys, my audience, um, generally you're either developers or you're interested in computing in some way. If not, then I don't quite know why you watch my videos, because pretty much all of them to do with computing. But, the chances are you have looked, or are currently looking, for a decent text editor. So, for example, I know a while back, when I got my new um, computer, which isn't so new anymore, so it was, it was quite a while back, I basically, I wanted a text editor to do all my developing, I wanted to edit my Ruby on Rails stuff, and not so much my C++ stuff, because I use a integrated development environment for that. I don't know why I said the whole phrase, IDE is clearly what I meant to say. Um, so yeah, bits like Ruby, Python, HTML and CSS, and obviously regular text files and stuff as well. I, I really needed a nice little text editor to, to do all that. So I did a, bit, a Google search and a bit of research, and pretty much most of the time the conclusive result is Notepad++. Now, I used this for a while, in fact quite a while, I've used this for most of the time I've had the computer, but then I decided, you know what, I actually don't really like Notepad++. My first reason being, it's ugly. Now, I know most of you wouldn't say it's a particularly huge problem, but I just like everything I run on my computer to look really nice. Um, which obviously isn't the case with every program, there aren't always nice looking alternatives for every program, and Notepad++ is extremely functional. However, I think that once I dug a little further and I managed to find Sublime Text, and in fact I'm running Sublime Text 2 here on screen, uh, I think this is an absolute gem of a text editor. I think it's just as functional, if not more functional in some aspects, and it looks very, very, very nice, which is a huge aspect to me. So if I just give you a, a quick guide through here, I'm just running Sublime Text 2. And by the way, Sublime Text is made by a guy called John Skinner, who lives in Sydney. You can just Google Sublime Text and you'll find it. So yeah, this is a Sublime Text 2 uh, beta. It's a registered version, in fact. And you'll just see I am, I've got my uh, musicsystem.cpp file. If you've been around on my channel for long, then you should probably know this is actually from a little music project thing I tried to start off, which kind of failed to catch on with the community, uh, probably because I didn't have enough views at the time and still don't really now. But here's a CPP file anyway, and you'll see, first of all, it's really nicely syntax highlighted. I really love the color scheme they've actually chosen for pretty much all of their syntax highlighting. So there are really nice... Def default uh, syntax highlighting schemes, but also you can actually choose from a range of different color schemes for your syntax highlighting, so if you want to change colors around, you can do that. And you've also probably noticed, hang on a minute, what, what's this random thing up here? Now what this is, is it's pretty much just a really, really zoomed out kind of look at your text or whatever you have open. So let's just say I wanted to go to this section here, which is quite clearly where I'm calling lots and lots of functions or whatever. All I can do is I can just scroll down there or just click there and that will instantly take me to that point in the program. So not only does it give you an overview of what everything you've written looks like, but also if you just want to quickly uh, skip to a section, so if I want to go to this add notes section where I'm adding all the notes to my track, then I can do that very, very easily. So as I said, it has a bunch of features. I'm just going to read some out of their features list. So side-by-side -side multi pane editing, we'll come to that a little bit more in a minute, but you'll see we basically do have loads of different tabs. Um, we have a little mini-map, that's this thing here. See a code from 10,000 feet, is what it says on there. We have a full screen mode. I didn't know that existed, but there are absolutely a ton of features which I haven't even explored yet in this program. It's a, oh, it's just amazing. Uh, nothing but text mode, the text, the whole time, and nothing but the text. I mean, that that's what you're looking for, really, in the text editor. And then we have syntax highlighting for many languages. So it does support a wide variety of languages. It says here C, C++, C Sharp, CSS, D... I don't know how to pronounce that, er, er, Erlang, HTML, Groovy, Haskell, HTML, Java, JavaScript, Latex, Lisp, Lua, Markdown, Mat I'm not even going to bother reading the whole list, Ruby, Python, they're, they're all there. Pretty much all the languages you're probably going to want uh, to syntax highlight are there for you. And then I've said multiple color schemes, bracket highlighting, auto save. It says here, never lose your changes, even if... Uh, not even if the dog thinks the power cords are tasty. <laughs> then we have Sublime Editing, and again, there's just loads more features. Regular expression, search and replace, incremental find, bookmark, spell check, bracket matching, commenting, asynchronous file loading, key loads of key bindings, a really rich plugin system. It pretty much has all of the features you're ever going to want. And in fact, another really nice uh, feature we have here, WinSCP integration for editing remote files via SCP and FTP. That's going to be a must-have for some people. 
and we also have a snippet system, a macro system, an autocomplete system. Ew, it's just so fully featured, it's, it's ridiculous, quite frankly. So, just to bring you through this little pane here, which is actually new to Sublime 2, and it's a feature I really like. But we have files, which are just obviously the files you would open, so I've got musicsystem.cpb. And if you drag in folders, so for example I dragged in my testing folder, we can actually just navigate through folders as we would in some of the very nice text editors on the Mac. Um, so if I just double click index.html, then you'll see it's then open that up, or I can actually just single click and edit it and then just quickly navigate somewhere else in the folder if I want to, so for example for my style.css. And if you're wondering what this is, by the way, this is simply just something I used while I was creating a HTML and CSS tutorial recently. But pretty much, if you're looking for a good text editor, I would 100% recommend Sublime. Uh, you can go on their website and get an evaluation version for free, and you're allowed to use that as long as you like. But obviously, if you really like the program, I'm sure the developer is greatly going to benefit if you uh, basically pay for the registered version, which is what I'm running here. And it is well worth it. Um, even though you don't really get a whole lot of benefits as far as I'm aware from getting the registered version, obviously if you enjoy the program it's only right for you to then go out and buy the registered version. So I really do suggest you check it out, I can't cover every single feature, in fact I've barely covered ever, uh, any features, I've just given you a quick overview, but pretty much I think it's an absolutely awesome text editor, please go and check it out now, and if you prefer other text editors feel free to leave a comment, you know, why do you prefer this, why do you prefer that, or if you're going to try out Sublime Text then do that, leave a comment on what you think of it. So that's the end of this video. Try out Sublime Text and have a nice day.